Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we'll continue with using Python with lists, but this time we're going to create lists of sizes and lists of coordinates. Then we're going to import the polygon function that we have created from before, and then simply select some coordinates and some sizes from the lists we have created to create some geometric pattern. The pattern is not going to be that interesting, but it'll certainly show you multiple different ways of using lists in Python. Okay, so let's start with making some lists. So let's think about, um, first of all, sizes. Now, if, this is, if these are going to be sizes of the side of a polygon, we can come up with a bunch of numbers that are in between 20 and 100. So 22, I don't know, 55, 83, 82, 95, and I guess 99. Is that 10 numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 29. Okay, so we have some list of sizes. Now, coordinates. Should I call it locations? You can create a list of tuples, um, but those are actually going to be relatively hard to um, reference. So you can just write out like 10 integers and you use them in pairs. And I'm going to show you how to use them in pairs. So um, let's see. This screen is probably about negative 300 to plus 300 sideways. So we should keep it to within 300. In fact, let's try to keep it to within minus to plus 300 in all locations. So we're going to start off with minus 250, comma, 200, comma, 15, comma, 189, 289. All right, some negatives, minus 180. I'm pretty good at generating random numbers. Okay, so again, we want 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and minus 99, 10. So we have a list of locations, list of sizes, we have some ra we have some colors. Now we can re-import that polygon function. I'll literally copy and paste it. I don't want to go through how to create that again. And we can now write a loop that cycles through the colors, location, sizes, and just draws different polygons. So let's have a think about how do we do that. Um, I think the location is the most challenging. So I'll tackle that first and then um, we'll see how that goes. So let's go for i in range because we have 10 in all the lists except colors of course. Um, actually, if we cycle through every second location, 0, 10, 2, this 2 here signifies that you're cycling to every second. So you start at the first, then you go to 15, then you go to 55, then you go to 180, then you go to that one, then you go to that one. So um, again, just to check, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. So if you go to if you go cycle by two, then you can just say, hey, y equals to locations i. And then you can say x equals to locations i minus 1. Now, given that we're going to go minus 1, we really want to start from the second item in the list. So we're going to go 1, 11. That's going to work. Okay. 
Now we can say turtle dot go to x comma y and just to test it, let's say turtle dot stamp. Okay, there it is. Turtle left one, two, three, four, five. Turtle left five stamps in five different locations. So we have gone in five different locations and instead of stamps, we're of course going to draw polygons and we're going to be neat about it. So turtle dot pen pen up and then we're going to go turtle dot pen down. So I think now those stamps and they're going to be the same five places every time. So we can get to create a random polygon here. So wherever the wherever we have the, the, the stamp, we can now select a color and as well as selecting the color, we can select the size. So size for the polygon. So let's do this. We're gonna call the polygon here and we are going to randomly select i guess the number of sides but we can't have less than three or more than eight so um i guess we can say sides equals to random dot rand int three comma eight now we have sides comma and locations sorry sizes we can also do random choice random dot choice sizes all right that ought to do it so yeah you go to those locations that were preordained and you start sketching polygons sometimes there's an overlap sometimes they look quite nice okay and one last thing um we can even fill in with a particular color so if if all of the um, drawing really happens in that function so here we can say turtle dot begin fill and turtle dot end fill so now they're all going to be black after they're randomly generated and in the very next one we can select the color for them so where do we do that? Right before begin fill. Turtle dot color colors. And this time around, I think we should just do random choice. So random dot choice color. And there you have it, randomly colored polygons that select from lists of colors, sizes, and locations. Brilliant. Thank you very much, and see you in the next tutorial. Hi there. My name is Sanyin. I make these videos. And I really think that we should interact a bit more. So yeah, drop me a line. If you liked the video, make sure to thumbs it up and the subscribe button right there. I am averaging about three videos per week in 2018, so don't miss out on the fun. Finally, the playlists, this course, playlist link there, other Python tutorials there. That's all for now. Catch you later.